Hey guys, Cameron with Car Audio now again. Thanks for tuning in to another first look review. Today we're going to be looking at Fusion's uh, Apollo MS RA770. It's a marine grade uh, head unit. It's uh, it's got a wide variety of, of applications from the wakeboarding world all the way into the yachting world. Um, so in this review, we're gonna open up the box, give you guys a good look at uh, the unit itself, some of its key features, and we're gonna power it on uh, and, and demo some of the, the features that make this thing super powerful um, and give you guys just a good look at, at, at some of the core functionality of the head unit. So let's open up the box and, and dive right into it. So we pulled the MSRA770 out of the box and installed it into our demo box that and hooked it up to power to to turn it on and give you guys a good look at some of the features in real time demo some of the features uh, in real time starting out with with the basics of the head unit this is what's considered a digital media player in that it doesn't play cds it really relies on a separate device to stream uh, or or connect to in order to play play music it features a 4.3 inch screen it's a touch screen what's called a capacitive touch screen that's encased or covered with a single pane of glass it gives it a really nice and sleek look and a nice feel too capacitive touch screens basically what to expect from from a capacitive is is what you'd experience on an android or an iphone it's the same technology and just for context we actually hooked this up connected it to our device already, our iPhone. So it's already got a Bluetooth connectivity. You're seeing the last song that we played on it. So that's what it really defaults to when you hook it into uh, you know, a, a device, whether it be Bluetooth, AirPlay, we'll get into that. So let's start out with some of the, the core functionality of, of the unit, starting with the three access points, the biggest access points to, to, the, user, uh, to the user interface. You have the sources here, the menu, and the zones. So let's start out with the sources. When you click on the sources, you get a list of, five, of six different options uh, by, by default. You have AM, FM, AUX1, AUX2, Bluetooth, and optical. AM, FM, it's pretty straightforward. AUX1, AUX2, there's two separate RCA inputs on the rear. Now let's go back to there. Uh, you have two, two separate inputs in the rear that you can hook into with whatever inputs that you'd like. Uh, this could be, you know, a RCA to a headphone jack, for example, that they sell on Amazon. It could be anything that you want to run in your boat. Bluetooth, that's pretty straightforward as well. We were already connected to our, our iPhone. You can connect to one device at a time. And as soon as you hook up to the, the Bluetooth device, you're you're connected as if you, you were any device. And you can stream music directly to the unit. Optical. Uh, where it says TV here. Basically what this is, there's an optical, digital optical input. And I picture this in use in more of a, a larger stereo or like a theater setup in a, in a yacht really, or on a dock where you have a TV and you want to extend the TV source, you know, play a football game, whatever it might be, to the stereo that is hooked up to the Fusion. So you can take and pull the the input from that source, whether it be the, you know your TV or, or other source, and extend it to the stereo that and the zones that are hooked up. And we'll get into zones in a, bit, a little bit, but the zones that are hooked into this this unit. So that's your sources. And if we go back, let's go into the menu. Now the menu starts out here with your connected device, and what you're seeing here isn't the application that the connected device is running music from in my case that luke holmes song was actually playing from spotify this is not spotify this is the music that is downloaded on my iphone so just note that this is what's downloaded on your phone you don't actually have the control of the app itself it's only the songs that are on your device that's connected whether it's usb uh, airplay or, or or bluetooth so uh, you know, if you go into these this menu here and see these, just know that. And then if you go into the settings from the menu, this is where you can access all the settings from, for the device itself. And this includes, let's just give you a good sample of this. You know, th this head unit comes 
capable or enabled with Wi-Fi. That's what also enables their AirPlay. So there's there's two things that you can do with this unit with with Wi-Fi. One, you can you can connect it to uh, you can use the the Wi-Fi client here that's selected, and you can connect to your home network. And what you can do is connect your phone or your de your device to that same network, and then you can stream via AirPlay like you would at your home. Or this is more uh, this is more for the wakeboard boats and the people that are on the lakes who have who don't have access to your home network out on the water. You enable it as an access point, and you can essentially connect directly to the fusion unit via Wi-Fi. It creates essentially a hotspot. It's obviously not internet, but it creates a hotspot that you connect to, and that will also enable Apple AirPlay. So th that's kind of cool feature. Um, we've already so we've already set this up, and you can name you can name the actual Wi-Fi to whatever you want. In this case, I did Fusion, and then you set the password, and that's really what you're going to look for when you go into your Wi-Fi settings on your phone. And then going back, let's go to AirPlay password. Right, I, I mentioned this is this unit is also enabled with AirPlay. What you'll do with the AirPlay password if if you have it hooked into Wi-Fi, you, you're on the same network in some capacity with your your device. You're going to connect to the unit via app uh, via Apple AirPlay. So you start playing your song, whatever that might be in in, in Spotify, Pandora, and you're going to select AirPlay, and then it, you'll select the Fusion unit, whatever you lit, named it, and you'll need a password. So if you if you've ever used airplay at home and normally asks you for like a pin this is essentially the same thing as a pin you can change the the pin or the password for your apple airplay and oops i clicked on power you can mute it by clicking power um so that's essentially the what the the airplay password does and you, you know obviously you can change it to whatever you want so let's go back so let's talk about zones a little bit so by default, let's go back one more. By default, if you move the volume knob, and this is actually also a control knob, so if you can press it down, at, that basically mimics an enter, or move it you know, back and forth, it defaults to volume. But what happens if you click in, in volume, and in, in you, can, you can see volume for all the zones. But if you click enter, it becomes a control. And it, it basically disconnects from a volume control and becomes a control of the device, of the device. And so what's cool about the, the zones on this unit is that you can configure them and customize each zone independently of each other. And you have very easy access to, to not only customize them, name them, <clears throat> etc. You can, you can adjust volumes independently of each other. So you can see I'm highlighting each of these zones. And you know, take, for example, if you're playing a country song, a rock song that might need a little bit more bass in comparison to other songs, you can you can adjust that and and boost it a little bit just for that song and then you can bring it back to whatever the, the range is with, with ease. Um, you know, the, you can do that to every zone and, and we'll talk a little bit more about zones when we get into the application too because all of these controls are, are actually accessible from from within the app. A little bit more about the zones. I'm going to go into the settings and the zone section here. I mentioned that you can customize each of the zones. And what I mean by that is, let's go into interior, right? The interior is a zone that I created. I named it via this naming feature, interior. This unit is going to go into a wakeboard boat. So I, na I named three zones, interiors, for the interior speakers, subwoofer, and tower speakers. And each of the zones, you have access to a three-band equalizer, so you can really control the zones if you if you want to do it that way. Um, and you also, <clears throat> you know, in, in the case of a, a subwoofer zone, which is zone number two, what I'm using zone number two for, you can actually select the, the, the sub-frequency, which all this is is a, a, a low pass. Um, and, and what that means is it'll limit the... The frequencies to a maximum of you know 80 hertz 120 hertz in this case it's not set right now i'll probably set it between 80 and 120 i haven't really decided yet and i haven't tuned it but you can select 
the different, you, you can basically customize the low pass directly from, from the unit. And one more thing to just note with the zones, I, I personally really like the zone features, is you can set thresholds, maximums for each of the zones as well. So you can, it, this is basically a preventative, you know, you, in some cases you, you want to set up boundaries on your system so that you don't damage it. And that's really what this will do is it won't allow you to exceed this threshold. And, you know, depending on if you have a subwoofer that's also tied to this, this zone, you can adjust the levels in, in this screen as well. So the one thing that's missing here that it, that is really powerful and a, and a feature that I'm, I'm, we're going to get to in a moment is uh, the DSP. Uh, so the DSP is, is a super powerful feature. It's accessible in the app. So let's take a break from the head unit here and, and dive into the app and give you guys a look at the app, the features that are within the app and the control the app actually gives you because I've, I feel like that's half of, of the benefit and the, and the value of this head unit, to be honest, is, is all within the app. So let's, let's give you a look. So now we're in the Fusion Link application. This is an app that you can download from the Android or the, the, I, uh, you know, the Apple store. Um, we're already connected at the top left-hand corner. You can see that blue icon. We're already connected via Bluetooth to the head unit. And uh, so we're, we're already set up here to, to start to walk through some of the features of the head unit directly from your mobile device. And this is what I was talking about. I'd really like to go through some of the DSP settings. And, and actually, you have full control over the head unit, the, the, the volume, the zones, everything within this app, which is really nice. Um, you know, I picture being out, uh, w whether the boat's moored or beached or, you know, you're on a sandbar, you got your phone in your pocket if, if, if you're that comfortable with being in water with it. And, you know, you, you might be 20, 30 feet away from the boat, you might be more. Um, this is kind of where that that functionality comes into place, where you can have full control over the, the stereo directly from, you know, your phone. So let's start out by walking through, um, you know, what's on screen, right? So we're connected Bluetooth. Obviously, you know, if I'm using, I'm using the same d device uh, to record right now, so I can't play music simultaneously, but this is where you'd see the music that's playing on screen. You've got, you know, your play button at the bottom center, play, pause, you know, your previous song to the left, next song to the, to the right. On the far left, you've got your, you know, your menu, and this brings you into the menu controls for the music. And this is your music that is directly on your phone. So uh, it's not like your Spotify or, or, play, or, or Pandora, you know, similar to how when we were going through on, directly on the device, you don't really have control over those types of apps. It's really just what's on your device. On the bottom right, this is where I want to go through some of the zones. You have very easy access and control to the zones on your boat uh, directly from your phone. And let me show you that on the on the far left. You know we have all all of our four zones. You can see they're configured here: interior, subwoofer, towers. Right, those are the preset not not preset but pre-configured ones that that we set up interior but you can take and control these zones independently of each other the volume which is super powerful you know if you have a uh, a tower setup you don't want you don't want to just go like this and take all all the way up all the time you're going to blare those tower speakers right so you know in this case you're going to probably want to you know tone it down a little bit right or maybe even turn it all the way off or if you're towing somebody uh, you've got somebody in tow uh, where, you know, they're wakeboarding behind and you don't want to blast the people inside the boat. You might want to bump the towers all the way up and then carry everything along with it, right? So now the interiors are <laughs> an acceptable level. You're not uh, blasting the people inside the boat, right? So this is really where that kind of level of control comes into place. And you can also just kind of, you know, modify and, and change them 
as one. Super powerful. That's what I'm looking for in a zone control because, you know, at right now, I, personally, I use the WS420 from, from Wet Sounds. And what that does is gives me all of this, but it's a very manual way to do that. I, I personally like that. But for people that kind of just want the easy, like, easy way to, to boost interior and towers, this is, this is the, probably the easiest way to do this. And separately, similarly, you know, we configured that zone two for subwoofer. So you can, you can modify the subwoofer level independently. You might have a, uh, you know, a rap song playing or something that's got a, just a heavy bass song. And you might want to dip that down a little bit lower just because, you know, you feel like it's, it's a little too strong. Oops. Let's go back in there. Or, you know, maybe you're playing country or some rock, which needs a little bit more boost in comparison to the other songs, right? You have that control on a song by song basis, um, you know, along, alongside the towers and, and whatnot, what we what we just went through independently, which is, again, super powerful. It's exactly what I look for in a high performance, um, you know, stereo. You need that, that level of control. You can't just boost everything all in one at this point anymore if you want that high volume, high output and and clean music you've got to change those every once in a while then this is kind of where i i, I really wanted to dig into uh, the details with you guys this is the dsp settings and well for one we're on the, the general settings here and this is typically what you would go through on the head unit we went through this you probably see these are familiar these are the zones at the top you know, and then you have your general settings where you can control the device name, the region, you know, you can do the Air, AirPlay password. All this should actually look pretty familiar to you because we already went through it directly on the device. What's different on the device is within the, that at least that I want to go through is within the zones. Once you're in one of these zones configurations, you now see this DSP setting. And within the DSP settings, each of these zones, you can configure the DSP for the exact setup that you're you're gonna um, configure, and you can do this before you install it. Uh, you can do this uh, after you install. It. You can do this whenever. And it, what it really does is limits. If you if you are comfortable with the DSP settings, and these DSP settings are are from the engineers at Fusion, especially if you're running like we are, we're running a Fusion head unit, Fusion amplifiers, Fusion s speakers. It's the best setup for for running these DSP settings. You don't have to do that, but you can go in and configure every zone specifically to the, the configuration and application that you want it to. So, so we're going to go in and configure the interior speakers. These are speakers that are within the, within the boat. So you'll click on, in our case, you can do in, internal ampl amplifiers. That's using the head unit amplifier. That's, that's really what it is. External amplifiers, this is what we're doing. We've, we've got separate fusion amplifiers. So we're going to go in and configure that external amplifier. This, this profile in uh, the DSP for the zone for those for those external amplifiers. At the top, we got speaker type. We're going to install the Signature Series uh, six and a half two way. Right, these are sport ones. They they've got it listed here. We're going to click that. Boom, we've got the speaker type. The environment. This is where are those speakers going. Right, this, that's 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 what it's asking here. This is going to go in the cabins. It's a, it's a wakeboard boat. Right, it's it's an open air. Uh, area with no roof, no limited walls, right? It's just your, your, your typical wakeboard boat. So boom, let's, let's go open air. And then the external amplifier that we're using, again, we, I, I mentioned this is going to be a, uh, a fusion uh, amplifier. We're going to be using the, the SGDA 82000, which is an eight channel amplifier to power both the interior speakers and the, the tower. So let's select that. Now it knows exactly what we've got. And it's going to tune this this zone to those configurations, and it even tells you and uh, where and what to do with the amplifier. So you don't have to worry about tuning when you use this 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 uh, DSP profile. Now you go and set the defaults on that amplifier. It shows you right here on the screen what to do in the same exact way it appears on the amplifier. It really simplifies the tuning process. And again, if you if you if you just want to go with these these DSP profiles, which I probably recommend doing, you know, these are profiles set by the engineers at Fusion, right? You're not going to blow your system up on on these configurations. They're going to be they're going to be spe specific to your setup, especially if you have all of the uh, Fusion products like we do. So I'd I'd recommend doing this, especially if you're not a, a tuner, right? Um, and you don't know how to tune a stereo. It's it really simplifies it for the DIY person. 
So it's really cool. Once you do that, you know, well, let's go back. And as long as you're connected to your your device, which we are in Bluetooth, you can go down and click this. Once you've configured the DSP settings for each zone, all zones, whatever you want to do, you send the DSP settings directly to the, the head unit. And it will load those DSP settings directly onto the head unit. Now you don't have to worry about configuring the zone. So you can do all the zone configuration on here, which is really cool. I, I personally, I, I really like this feature uh, a lot and it, it's very powerful. All right, guys. So that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching uh, this review of Fusion's M MS RA770. Uh, if you like the video and want to see more, we're, we're always doing more. Uh, more and more uh, first looks, trying to give you guys um, a, some good insight into to, uh, the live applications of, of products, whether it be a head unit or speaker. So subscribe if you like this video. Uh, we hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.